Hello friends. We're going to do a quick power flow today. So we're just going to jump right on in for those that need to get off to work or get out to run their errands. Okay. So nice little quick 10 to 20 minute power flow. Good to go. Perfect. Have your blocks or blanket handy. Put our blanket under our sensitive knees here. Come into a tabletop position. Knees hip width apart, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're going to go into a nice little cat cow flow here. Are you ready? Inhale, belly to the mat, chin and chest to the rise and raise that tail. Exhale, curve the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly to the mat, chin and chest to the horizon. Exhale, curve that spine. Inhale, draw your hips back to your heels, coming into child's pose. Exhale while you're here. Inhale, bring it back on up the tabletop. Exhale while you're here. Inhale, belly to the towards mat, chin and chest to the horizon. Exhale, curve that spine, push through those hands, broaden those shoulder blades. Inhale, bring your hips on back to your heels, walk your fingertips out. Stretch those arms. Exhale while you're here. Inhale. Bring yourself back up to tabletop. Nice neutral position. Exhale. Extend that right leg out behind you. Flex your toes down towards the mat. You can stay here. Or bring that left hand straight out in front of you. Palm facing in. Nice little balance here. One more breath. Exhale, squeeze that left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, release the hand and knee to the mat. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, left leg straight up. Toes flex down towards the mat. You can stay here. Or maybe we bring that right hand up, palm facing in. Again, stay here. That's your practice. Or follow along and we exhale, squeeze that knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. Extend right through fingertips all the way back to that heel. Squeeze. Exhale, release both hands to the mat. Walk your hands a little forward here. Curl those back toes. Lift the knees. Let's find ourselves in a plank position. If this is in your practice, feel free to stay on your knees if that's where you're at today, okay? You choose what's going to work best for you. We're going to go into a side plank. Let's take that left hand, move it over just a bit. Roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. Bring that right hand up overhead. Maybe just on our hip. You choose. Maybe this variation where you bring your right leg in front of that left thigh. Choose your variation that works best. But on your next inhale, bring those lower ribs, draw them right up so that right hip is going way up towards the sky. One more breath. Exhale, release your hand. Come down to your knees, float your hips all the way back to your heels. Child's pose, just for a little break here, stretch. Inhale, back up to tabletop, float all the way through into our plank position, which position best suits you today. Bring that right hand a little to the left. We're going to roll on to the outside edge of that right foot. Bring that right arm up. To suit your practice for your side plank. Again, on your inhale, draw those right ribs up. On your next exhale, release both hands to the mat. Come down to your toes. Push up into downward facing dog. 
Going in here for a couple breaths. Maybe just pedal it out. Let those hips go way up to the sky. Bring your gaze to your thighs. On your next inhale, step your right foot forward. Keeping that back knee up off the mat. Rest your chest on that right thigh just for a second here as we find our balance. On our next inhale, bring your hands straight up in line with your ears, reaching out in front of you. Inhale, really extend through, push through that back heel. Exhale, release your arms down to the side, maybe interlacing your fingers behind you if that's in your practice. If not, just bring your palms so they're facing one another. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, bringing those shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, push yourself up through that front leg. Rest your hands on your knee, of your, of, on your right knee. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, soften down, push that back heel towards the mat, still engaging that left thigh. Push the left thigh bone back towards the wall behind you. On your next exhale, release your hands to the mat and step your left foot up to meet your right forward fold here. Maybe grab a hold of opposite elbows. Like a little red doll here, just loosen up side to side, shake the head. Nice, just like that. When you're ready, release your hands to the mat, step your right foot back, keep the knee up. Find your balance here as we stay in our high lunge, getting ready to raise our arms. The inhale, arms extend, fingertips towards the wall in front of you. Really extend through those sides. Push through that back leg. Activating that right quad. Push through the heel. Nice. Navel to spine here. On your next exhale, bring your hands down to your sides. Your palms are facing each other. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Excellent. Just like that. And really feel that activation that you're squeezing your thighs together to meet one another in the middle. Inhale, bring your hands up in front. Exhale, release your hands to your left knee. Again, really push that back heel towards the mat, the right thigh bone up towards the sky. Excellent. Feel the burn in those thighs. On your next exhale, release your hands to the mat. Frame that left foot. Step that left foot back to meet the right. As we work towards our chaturanga here, you choose your practice. Inhale, float forward. Lower down, cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Float it on up to downward facing dog. Take a breath or two here. Roll those biceps towards that wall in front of you. Let's keep the strength in those arms. Keep that nice extension through the spine as our hips are up towards the sky. It's okay if our heels don't touch. That's not our objective. Nice extension in. Inhale, float forward, lower yourself down to the mat. Extend your arms out in front. Inhale, raise the arms, chest and chin. Press through the tops of the feet into the mat. Nice, exhale, release. Inhale, raise the arms, chin and chest. Exhale, while we stay here. Inhale, while we're still up. Exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders onto the mat. On your next inhale, push back onto your knees. Curl your toes. 
Downward facing dog. One more breath here. Exhale, release down to your knees. Come down onto your forearms. Let's find our puppy pose, which is ever accessible to you. Rest the forehead down. Maybe walk those fingertips just a little bit forward. Really find that activation through the side body here. If it's in your practice, maybe bring your chin to the mat. When you're ready, push up through the hands. Start walking your hands back towards your shoulders. Coming up into our tabletop position. Curl those toes and just lift those knees just about two inches off the ground and hold here just for one second. You got this. Hold it. Excellent. You got this. On your next exhale, release down to the mat. Inhale, bring your knees up, downward facing dog. Step that right foot up in between the hands, lower that left knee to the mat. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, left hand down to reach towards that left calf. That right arm reaching up overhead, finding a nice extension to that right side body. Feel the stretch to that left hip. Maybe draw that right hip back so it's in line with the left here. Exhale, release. Step your left foot back to meet the right. Bring that left foot forward up in between the hands. Right knee to the mat. Inhale, hands overhead. Feel the stretch through that right hip. Maybe draw that left hip back just enough so it's in line with the right. Exhale, right hand down to the right calf. Left hand reaching up overhead. Either your gaze straight ahead, the wall in front of you. Maybe up towards your left hand if that's accessible. Really feel that stretch. Feel that left side line. One more breath. Exhale, cartwheel your hands. Frame that front foot. Curl those back toes. Step the left foot back to the right, downward facing dog. Inhale, float forward, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or maybe just lower all the way. Push up to cobra or downward facing dog, using those lower back muscles here. Exhale, release. Bring your hands in front of you here. Stack them on top. Press your left cheek. And just take a breath. Excellent. Nice little power flow to get everything flowing today. When you're ready, bring your hands under your shoulders, push up in the tabletop, float your hips all the way back onto your heels into child's pose. Enjoy your time here in child's pose for as long as you need. And when you're ready, come on out of child's pose whenever it best suits you and continue with your day. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Namaste.